Good evening. Good evening. Check me out. Good evening. Check me out. Whoops, let me mute this. I am uh, a crazy raven queen. <laughs> with, with crazy hair and stuff. Um, I'm just going to chat with y'all for just a minute uh, or a few minutes and we'll look at a few things. Um, I'm not actually going to go tour houses tonight. I'm going on a trip tomorrow and I am going to Florida to see my grandchild, which I have not done. Um, I haven't seen my grandchild in ages and literally ages so um i'm gonna do it i'm going and it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome and i can't wait to see him he's three i haven't seen him since before the pandemic and um and so yeah i'm on my way to florida in the morning i'm gonna be there for three days so i won't miss any more streams just tonight's is gonna be a little truncated because i have to pack and get all my medicine together um, so that's what's happening today. Um, I'm not sure why the mouth tracking is not very good on this right now. It's just not. Maybe I don't have the right microphone selected. Let me check. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's not. It's not the right mic. Let's see. Well, that's the video. Microphone. Oh no, it is. It's the right mic. Eh, I don't know. Things are a little slow tonight. Anyways. So, the first thing I would like to show you is this avatar. Because she's awesome. Um, so I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to turn off this virtual whiteboard for a, a minute. Um, and I'm going to... I'm going to show you this avatar. Let me pull her up here, make her bigger. Uh, I'm actually going to, let me do the full body there. <laughs> and I'll change the background color so she's easier to see. We'll just make it white. Check it out. And I can turn off her, um, also turn off the, uh, the keyboard. She doesn't need the keyboard right now. So I made this chick, uh, She's modeled after a Celtic goddess, you know, the Morrigan. <laughs> um, and she's just like, you know, got all these, they like, they often show her with crows and ravens. And so I made her with this feathery headdress and with all these feathers flying around her. So when she moves, the feathers will move. Like if I do stuff, um, she'll move let's see here let's uh let's see if i can yeah like oh my gosh i gotta fix that with her arm coming through the thing but that's yeah she's pretty cool i like her dress it's got lots of layers there's like you know three the skirt is like two layers of skirt and then there's a layer of dress on top and just this you know wild headdress made out of feathers and um you know i custom her face is all custom and i'll show you the face up close because it's pretty cool um so her face you know like i drew the mouth and you know she's got custom eyeballs and custom eyebrows and her eyelashes are actually they look like a feather so pretty cool um and she's got some tattoos i'm not sure if i like the tattoos i might change them uh you know it's all a work in progress still but this is one that i'm working on just for the fun of it but it's like all of her textures are custom you know i did all of them um in clip studio paint and so she's pretty cool and i'm really proud of how neat she came out looking um yeah so she's cool i like her 
She's dark and spooky. <laughs> dark and spooky. Um, let's see. So the first thing that I think we should do is I have promised people um, that I would show them some um, some resources for housing stuff. Um, I promised to look at um, a couple places. Uh, there are a few websites that I like. I like to look at housingsnap.com and I like to look at um, a, there's a video channel that I like to watch on YouTube that is called Never Too Small and they have videos of their micro apartments uh, like real life micro apartments and so um, they're a great resource for decorating small spaces like I've used ideas that I saw on that to decorate apartments in um, in Final Fantasy so let's see here here is the th let me let me pull up housing snap first and let's see I gotta get rid of all this junk let me shut things down and I'll pull up housingsnap.com um, because it is super cool and we'll look at a few of the things that we see at housing snap and we'll talk about how they did it um, because I think it's useful it's a useful uh, tool and everyone should make use of housing snap let's see I just want to share that screen let me find the screen which one housing snap there that's the one okay where is it oh I need to turn it on there we go yay housing snap all right so there's that and just have this oh hey yeah isn't it look cool Monty what do you think did you see you didn't see the big the big thing hold on let me show you her full because you I don't know if you were here when I showed her like the full body shot of her let me, let me turn off the the screen share for a moment and I'll show you what do you think She's pretty badass, huh? <laughs> She's got all these feathers flying around her and this crazy dress. <laughs> it's got lightning on it. So it's like, you know, like it's like glowy up close. Pretty cool. I think I made her booty too big, though. I might have to tone it down a little. Although her Boobs are so huge that it just kind of balances out. <laughs> you know, some people really like a, a luscious female and she's huge too. Like, um, let's see here. Let me turn on one of the props. See this little guy, this little guy, like on my Lollafell, um, it's like as big as her head. But this lady is a, she's a big lady. She's a big lady. <laughs> All right. So let's look at some housing snap because I think it would be a lot of fun. I'll leave on the props. <laughs> look, at I've got wings now. I'll just kind of put her over here and back to the screen share housing snap. There we go. Turn it on. All right. So let's look at housing snap. Let's see what they've got. <laughs> There's a gold room. You know, I, I think we can all figure out how to do this, right? Th throw money on the floor. Why is it so slow to load? Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. But look, I like the way they did, like, they, it, apparently, um, shoot, they used uh, partitions. And these are the tops of fireplaces. I'm not sure why they did this. Um you know, but there's the waterfalls are back stuck in the in the wall there. And it looks like there's stairs. There's stairs going somewhere. Oh, look. Okay, so they 
they use like troop stages there's troop stages to make um you know the little thing by the door there that's kind of cool so it's just fireplaces set sideways sunk into partitions all the way around and this is fish ponds to make it kind of look like it's a kingdom under the mountain that's cool i approve it's much more clever than it looks at first sight all right it's a rebber it's the kingdom under the mountain and it was posted by smog <laughs> <laughs> of course it was of course it was <laughs> let's take a look at this okay so they made an alcove oh look how cute that is they made an alcove out of one of the big beds one of the big um, canopy beds and it looks like they've used swag valances and um, partitions and windows these here these are the the shuttered windows if you t put them on a stage panel and put them with the back side facing out if you like place the stage panel in and then remove them um, you know turn off counter placement and remove them from the stage panel with their back side facing you can use the back of them so you don't have you know the I'll show you I'll show you we'll do it I'll show you how to do this you know let's let's save this I'm gonna save this picture and uh, we'll um, let me see let me see if it saved it did it actually save the picture yes okay we will build this okay we'll build that that'll be our, our build it when I come back from visiting my grandchild uh, we'll have a build it night on Friday night and we'll build some things um, can we use your house? <laughs> I don't have anywhere to build. <laughs> I mean, I can build on my alt, but I don't, I can't craft on my alt. <laughs> I need to, I need a bigger house. Oh my goodness. So we'll do that. Let's take a look at this next room here. Oh, look at, it's a hotel or it's a lab. It's Mana Shinryu Lab 16.3. That's the entryway. This looks very sterile. You can build in your mansion. Awesome. That would be so awesome. You get to be in my show. <laughs> cool. We'll do it. Did you see I posted a, a challenge, a contest challenge thing um, in the Discord channel? So if, if you're not in the Discord channel, you really should join the Discord um, because that's where I'm going to like kind of keep track of uh, challenges and stuff that we do. Um, so what I think that we're going to do is we're going to um, have a challenge where you decorate a room, just one room, just either an apartment or a free company room, one of the two. And you can only use items that you can purchase from the vendor, the housing vendor, that you can place in your room. So you can't go down and buy stuff from the other vendor. You can't craft stuff. Just the stuff that you can get from uh, the housing vendor. And you got to do the best job you can. And you have until the end of February to do this challenge. And at the end of February, everyone that has built uh, a room, we will go look at their room. So that's that's what I'm proposing for a challenge. I think it'll be fun. This is a nice little bar. I like they use the gold saucer walls. Amarat wall sconces. This is like the conference room. These are, you know, look at the ceiling here. You know what they used? Um, those are wool, combed wool rugs floated up to use as a ceiling in this room. I'm not exactly sure how they did these lights, though. I'm wondering. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to play. You see the, like, the strips of light? And then it's very bright up at the ceiling. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure that out. It's a challenge. There's a challenge for me to figure out. 
Let's see. This is cool. Let's take a look at this one. So I believe that the this texture that they use for the wall here, I think that is the back of the Phasmascapes. The back side of them is this rough concrete looking texture. Yeah, it's some kind of crack in the wall. It, it is, I, or it's an item that glows that's placed like that. And I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to sit and look at things, and see if I can't figure out what's going on there. This is super cute. I mean, this is not a hard design to do here. It's a white feather bed, um, and just antique wall shelves. This looks like it's one of the like, the little grand company boxes. I wish this would not move like this every time I move my mouse because I can't really point at things um, this is cute I like what they did here this window they floated partitions to do it backsides of fireplaces to make the TV these are just little shipping crates and you can stick the plants in. That's a good idea because the pots that these plants come in are terrible. They're just weird looking. And it looks like they used antique wall shelves to make their di their um, to make a, a coffee table. Let's see if they have a picture of that up close. Oh, yep, there it is. See that? It's a there's something underneath it. Like some table is underneath it, but they just kind of floated those shelves, you know. Um, on top of it so that it would have the rough wood and they did they used them for uh, the countertop too which I like that looks good this is very nice it doesn't it doesn't look complicated but good gracious to do that stuff to do these windows and stuff would just be you know I mean floating partitions blah 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 it is industrial it's cool it's a modern I like it and that is let's see where is it it says it's in mist but I don't know oh it's on Shinryu yeah it's in mist on Shinryu so we that's not our that's not our data center unfortunately sometimes there are things here that you can go see Let's take a look at the road leading to the cafe here. This is just their yard. They didn't post anything else other than the yard, but look how pretty. The cafe walls are so nice. That's lovely. Real pretty. Really pretty. Love it. Housingsnap.com. Should all go here. Everyone should go to sh Housing Snap if you're interested in housing. You want to learn to do stuff. Go find a picture and try to do it. Try to recreate it. Try to figure out how they did it. Figure out what items they used, and s and slap it together. This looks nice. This is the ladder from a, a mahogany bunk bed. The bunk bed is behind the wall. You just did that with the gravel. I love the I love the garden gravel. You know, I saw someone made a swimming pool with garden gravel dyed blue in their yard. It looked really cool. <laughs> I wasn't really it wasn't really what I was expecting to find when I went to their house, but there it was. Nice. Oh, this they floated something up from the basement to do this, but you could do this with a wooden box shelf sunk down into the wall. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, so here. This is cool. Glade bench, right? And then they floated something from the basement up, but you could use a wooden box shelf to fill in the space under the glade bench and then put the curtains or the cushions on top there. That would look really cool. There's something we can build. I'm going to save that picture too. We'll build that. We'll build that as well. Let's look at their kitchen cute kitchen I'm not sure exactly what item this is it's something that has cabinets on the top that might be oh, 
I don't know, like the manor sink or something. It's some item that has cabinets on top. I'd have to sit and look at them, float it up. There's a mahogany aqueduct floated up. They used some item that has this thingy. It's like a lamp. It's a lamp. Um, that's the pole of the lamp. And uh, antique wall shelves to make that little hanging thing in the, um, in the kitchen over the island. And here's the cute little basket seats made out of bar stools and empty bread baskets. <laughs> we'll build some of those too. Those are cute. This is a super cute little house. That looks really nice. That might be the bottom side of the merchant shelf floated. I know, I know, you know, some of the stuff that people do is just crazy. It's crazy good. Let's look at their other, their other floor. I'm not sure what that is. looks like the top of um, the wooden display shelves. And oh, no, you know what that is? That's a that's the apothecary workbench. That's the top of it. That's the plants that are on the apothecary's workbench. They floated it up through the floor. Cool. Washer dryer made out of fish tanks and a hingen sideboard and industrial wall pipes with some glass jars on top to look like laundry soap and stuff. Very cute. Very clever. Look at how nice this is. This is that hingen bookshelf thing um, floated from the basement fireplace it's just a fireplace that they kind of floated up but then they like closed it off with stuff that's really cool but i'm not going to try to rebuild this because i don't want to float stuff through the floor <laughs> you know? i don't want to have to float stuff through the floor i just don't let's take a look at their garden this isn't a garden this is just a bedroom i like it it looks cool one bag the rest of the bags are behind the partition okay so here is you know this is an antique sink floated up so that you just have the brick you know the brick that's at the side of it like the little um like cinder block or brick whatever it is it's like the thing that holds the water with a shower head stuck inside of it Riviera uh, table chronometer right there for the shower handle. And they just used wooden, you know, wooden floor mat for the floor. I would use tiles. Your kitchen looks like the budget version of this. <laughs> I know. Mine too. Mine too. This, this is some crazy good decor here. This looks really cool. But this has taken a lot of like hours of floating objects from downstairs up through the floor and there's just no way. There's no way I'm going to do that. Not today. Maybe if I manage to buy a mansion. All right. Okay. Something has caught my eye. What the heck is this? What I think that this is so this right here I believe that this is um, the rectangular partitions and they are just set one on top of the other like a whole bunch of them and then rotated so that you get this shape I've seen people do this with other like with open partitions um, and it looks really cool <coughs> and then I think that this is the couches. I'm not really sure. That's a... What did they do? Are these the... This is the the house four times couch, I think. Wool rugs dyed kind of lavender. Glade benches in that crazy table from 
the neck uh, the necro whatever the place is you know the necropolis it's the necropolis table and look at they made these skylights oh my gosh what did they do these people are nuts <laughs> these people are crazy that do this stuff it's really wow I like that they did not actually like build a chandelier out of things that were not lights because there is just the the ancient lanterns um, and you can just place them up there. You just place them up on like a shelf or on a loft or something and then do remove counter placement. That one's not hard. I'll show you how to do that too. That's super easy. Here's the second floor. This is the tops of marble alcove beds. This looks really pretty. I think that they made their, yeah, this is mar marble partitions floated. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. All right, let's look at a couple more. Let's see. Let's see if there's isn't something that might be more easily doable. This is an apartment room. Here's an apartment. Let's take a look at this apartment. They use the the new wooden um the wooden skylights. I like them. And the little uh star thingy. I don't even remember what it's called now, but I've got one hanging in my bedroom. Some verdant partitions. These are display cases set up on a, um, I think it's probably like a Riviera half partition. Display cases set up on top or shelving or showcases. Uh, showcases. You know, and the verdant partition sunk behind it so that it just looks like windows because there's glass and light and probably windows stuck on, there's probably windows stuck on the sides in there as well. Um, that looks really nice. Very bright and sunny. Pretty. Look how cute this apartment is. My gosh. This is one of the, I think it's like the Riviera cupboard has this thing that looks like, you know, it's like a wine rack. Um, and that you can sink a window behind it so that the light shines through and put a verdant, verdant partition back there or some of the, um, the wall planters. And this is the rustic chocobo counter behind the bed used as the, you know, built in for the back of the headboard. Just some of the new cushions put on there. Books uh, at the bottom. This giant, ca this this is like a giant dresser, the Glade Cartonier. Um, and yeah, they kind of sunk it into the wall because it's just so big. Boy, that looks cute. That looks really cute. And this is this is a very doable um, design. This is not anything crazy. This is just stuff placed nicely. Um, item clipping. There's. I don't think they floated anything for this because it's an apartment room. It's super pretty though. Look at that with the ronkin' rocking chair. It's just a tiny little apartment. But how adorable. Love it. So the other thing that I want to show you. Oh wait, this is the book. There's a book called Never Too Small. I want the videos. So these are amazing. I highly, highly recommend it. Well, they have the other, there's their book. Um, so let me turn off my sound in my game because it's really annoying. Greekness in our projects. 
So I recommend this channel. I highly recommend this channel. They go, they go in and they visit an uh, apartment somewhere that someone designed that is like a super small micro apartment. And um, they talk about how they made use of the space, the kinds of things that they thought about as they were designing it. And, you know, I know it's just a game, but when you're designing your apartment room, you can think about how to make things functional. And that will help you with your design. Like, what is it that you need and how might you be able to accomplish that in a small space? This basement apartment used to be a storage place. The apartment is also almost fully buried on the ground. One side to be underneath the ground and the other side to have the only opening towards the atrium. When we first entered the apartment, the apartment was very dark. Everything was falling down. And there, it was an empty space without any partition wall inside. So they, they like show you what it was we like before, and then they show you and we had their process. Floor again, a again. So you can also do this when you're designing your apartment. Just draw out a floor plan if you, if you need to. In order to organize the spaces into distinct areas of living. And we'll just kind of skip through here so you can see what they did. Look at what they did with this place. The living room is a long linear space and it's a sequence uh, of spaces, the, ki the kitchen, the dining area and the living Who's going to sit on that chair though? Not me. That looks uncomfortable. Well, we designed the sideboard of the living room that accommodates oh, Who keeps messaging me? Someone keeps messaging me. Like Set, and it's placed right above the concrete slab foundation. Of the so they've just got, you know, the little built-in kitchens. So go through these videos, take a look at some of them. Um, you know, the they're really helpful. The uh, you get lots of good ideas. Away from one to the bathroom. Very the bathroom was we also have, you ever, have you ever looked at HGXIV? Monty, because that's also a really good resource. I know, I think that my Twitter um, uh, will tell you when they have a new video up. Oh, hello, Murad Fenn. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? I hope that you're doing well. We're just kind of looking at resources for decorating. <laughs> you never look. Okay, so HGXIV is another great resource. Um, they have like podcast videos, but they also have these break it down videos, right? So like it's just a little short video. Um, you know, it's like eight and a half minutes and they show you exactly how to do this stuff. So they will, they like literally break it down. This is a great resource. So I highly recommend this. Oh, and I'm, I'm glad that we were able to visit your free company house. My avatar is a little crazy tonight. <laughs> you try your best to do glitches. Well, it takes practice and, and I'm not great at the glitches, but I've gotten better. <laughs> I've gotten better at it. So. Well, those are the resources that I, I highly, highly recommend. Um, I believe we finished um, up our tours of, uh, yeah, we started in, so when I get back on Friday, we're going to do a build it. We're going to build some stuff in Monty's mansion. Um, so we're going to go there. We're going to build some things. We're going to, I'm going to pick some stuff from, uh, from housing snap, um, and we'll we'll put some things together and i'm going to show monty how to do some glitches i'll show everyone how to do some glitching stuff and we'll have fun with it and um so that's what we're going to do um on friday and i regret that the stream tonight is going to be really short but i have to pack and get myself together because i'm leaving at like seven in the morning to go um to drive to florida to see my 
grandchild. Here, let me change to my other avatar. My other one that's not so crazy. <gasps> Look, it's a Lala. She's a Lala. Oh, I have wings on her. I don't know why she's got wings. <laughs> it looks like my Lala, my actual Lala. Let's turn off the props. She doesn't need wings. You don't need wings, little girl. You're fine just without the wings. Just perfect. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Those are the main things that I use as far as resources when I go build housing stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll we'll look at doing some glitching and trying to uh, just get people up to speed. Um, and because I, I want to test using some of the stuff from the housing vendor, you know, like the the antique wall shelf that I want to see if you can use it to, to uh, float stuff like partitions um, and the round loft. You should be able to, the round loft, instead of having, t because that opens up the opportunity for you to float objects for the contest, um, for the ch for the, the apartment room challenge. You, if you can use the objects that you can buy from the vendor, those items, the loft and the wall shelf, then you should be able to technically float stuff if you want to. Um, any house that has um, some some ha item budget free um, for a number of items because it'll take a few items um, and that would allow me to to you know place furnishings um, I don't know if you can uh, I mean we might have to use my alts um, apartment room which should be okay too did I show you what I did in my alt's apartment room the other did you see the elevator door Monty that I built because oh, I can go I can go to we can go look at it where is my oh there it is why is this not what is going on here oh there we go all right um okay yeah let me I'll show you. I'll show you because I wanted you to see it before I tear it ap apart. Um, I have to log on to her and hopefully the queue isn't crazy. It's been fine lately. I've been able to swap characters without a problem. So I built the uh, elevator door that we saw um, in one of the uh, apartments that we visited. I think it was an apartment. Yeah, it was in the uh, one of the apartments. And it takes surprisingly few objects to make it, um, way less than um, uh, some other things I built. I think it took a stage panel, a showcase. Um, I used a cracked arch window, but it would probably be better to use a fool's threshold or one of the square windows um, for the edge or even um, a tall painting. Um, Anything that's the height of the display case would work. So let's go to my apartment and I'll show you the door, the, the elevator door. So the nice thing about this elevator door is that everything to make this elevator door can be purchased from the housing vendor. And there it is. It's an elevator door. That you can't get from the housing vendor, but I only did that because this wasn't tall enough and I needed to use a taller, um, a taller window. So it's open partitions are just framing it out. It's a display case. There's a display case. That little line is just a cracked arch window um, placed sideways in there or kind of on an angle um, to make a little line and it's like right up flush to the glass and a showcase purchased from the vendor and a stage panel dyed um, ink blue which is the darkest dye that you can get from the housing vendor so that's an idea for something and you could use the round lofts instead of this for the steps going up to it 
if you wanted to you don't even have to put it up um you know on anything you could do it at floor level but there it is elevator door and i can you know i can pull it apart so um you can see i'll show you how this all goes together whoops so you know I just use these lofts I'm just gonna kind of throw them over here we don't really need them right now um, because every it's actually sitting on uh, ooh, go there crazy loft it's sitting on the open partition the display case so there's this it's the sh it's the showcase that's the glass there's a stage panel right this is the cracked arch window and it's, it's just at a slight angle because the side is so wide you don't want the whole thing you just want a little bit of the edge of it to show through the stage panel right and it's just stuck into the door there and open partition and you know one of the problems that I had was that I um, I can't use the door and that is upsetting to me and I want to be able to use the door so I'm gonna try actually right now let's see if we can't fix it so that we can use the door and I'll show you how this all goes together so there's that and I'm gonna place this stage panel like I want to get the at the right angle for the for the window so I'm just gonna rotate it until I have it at the right angle for the window since I've already got it there and then I'll snap that window on to the stage panel. that'll work right there so now they're attached okay so I want to push this back in as far as I can like right there right in the middle of the door okay so here's how you remove this because right now it's attached to the stage panel and if you can't you can't just take the stage panel away and have it stay there however this little button here if you click it it says toggle counter surface placement off and on um, you just click it so that it's turned off then you right click with your mouse to grab the window and then or that's the left click left click to grab it and then right click to release it but do not move it and don't place it anywhere you just left click then right click and then you grab that stage panel and pull it out so there it is it's gone now <clears throat> the thing that I want to do here is I want to take where's that open partition oh, are you on PlayStation mm, yeah there's do you have I'm not sure where those menus are I know you can do this because there's a lot of people who do this with PlayStation um, we'll have I'll look it up for you I think that it may be a little bit more challenging to do the glitching with PlayStation uh, so I'm just gonna take this display case and I'm gonna put it on this sh open partition as far back on the edge as I can so that it gets sunk into the wall as far as possible and now I'm gonna move it into place here so I want it as far back as I can and it's just this dumb pillars make it so hard why must you make it so hard dumb pillars I think that will work like right there well I want it a little further because I want that thing to be like right in the middle like right there I think that the the, the edge is in the middle now I'm gonna take my stage panel and I'm gonna turn grid snap on and I'm gonna rotate it so that it's straight just like that and then I'm going to turn grid snap off because grid snap is evil and I'm going to move it in to the display case and I'm going to go just until a little bit of the that pokes through right there there it is 
And now I'm going to take my other open partition. And wait, that's not, oh, it's not, I only used one open partition. That's right. This is just a regular partition. And I'm just going to sink it in there to close off the other side. Just like that. And there it is. Elevator door. And hopefully you can use the door now. Uh, I wasn't able to use the door before. It was too far out. But I... Yes! Success. And so you can do that. And then you can just use something for steps here. I had those lofts in there. But, you know, you can use whatever. You can use wooden steps. Um, or other objects I know people whoops people use um, okay excellent that sounds good and I'll look up the I'll find you a resource for PlayStation let me see let's see if YouTube has it let's see Here's the, here you go, floating ground items, and here's, oh, here we, there's another one. Here, I'm going to put a link in the chat for you, Monty. There you go. Maybe. This will show you how to set things up, though, for your, for, on the PlayStation. I have never used the PlayStation um, to do stuff, so I don't, I, I don't know. I have no idea, <laughs> but that person knows. So there you go. All right. Let's see. So what time is it? It's eight o'clock. Let's just try floating something. I'm going to try floating something with the stuff from the vendor. Let's try it. So let's see. I'm going to buy a bed. Or just something cheap. Let me buy something cheap. A Riviera chair. I'm going to buy a chair. And I'm going to buy a... Let's see. Other... Is it other... Where is that? Um, I want the the round loft. <laughs> Your comp yeah. Well, there's a lot of people who play on PlayStation and they enjoy it. You know, um, you get to play on it. You know, if I played on PlayStation, I could play on my big TV instead of on a monitor. But I, the way. I do my stream, I have to have, I mean, I have like three screens that I use most days to do this. I think it's under wall decorations. Round wooden loft. There it is. All right. So there's a round wooden loft and I'm going to, I have a stage panel right here. All right. So let me pull this thing out here actually let's you know what let's try to float this garden pond we'll float the garden pond there it is there's our pond and I'm just gonna put these things in storage so that they're not in my way so the trick with doing with floating items is the loft that you're going to use to float it needs to be in your inventory so you have to be placing it from inventory not from storage right it needs to be in your bag so yes I do want to proceed I'm just going to kind of now when you first start you want to have the loft in the floor below the object so that the bottom of the loft is below the object that you're going to float um, and so I'm going to place that item and I'm going to make it in my bag now I'm going to do this the trick is is that you push the thing here now you have the the loft in place and before you click make sure you're ready because you're going to click and you're going to hit the escape key whatever your escape key is um, you're going to hit that like 
you do it real quick. You click to place the object and then hit the escape key. And that loft, that, that object did not float. Hmm. And I wonder if it's the loft or the object. Let's try something different. Let's try floating something that's not as hard to float. Like, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. well, here's a bed. I mean, I've floated beds before. I don't know if it might be that the round lofts don't work for it. We'll find out. Oh, nope. There it goes. See? Pop that bed right up. So really, all you do, and you just have, you can just leave the little thing to return it to your inventory. Return that to your inventory. Right click to place. Place your loft. And you just want to make sure, like, okay, so it's right there. Just make sure that the bottom of the bed is slightly above the bottom of the loft. Click to place and then hit escape. And there it goes. It pops right up. And that's, you just keep doing that over and over until you have the bed the height that you want. So, like, I like to kind of look and then just pull it right down below the leg. Click and then pop it up. Okay, now some items have a minimum height. Like, I'm not sure what the minimum height for is for the bed, but we'll find out. Um, so the last thing that you have to do before the stay, so right now, this will not stay here. If I walked out of my apartment and came back in, this bed would be back on the floor. What you have to do next is you take away that and then you rotate the object. You rotate it like I'm going to rotate it a full turn and then I'm going to click away now that it's rotated if it's if it is above the minimum height for this object to stay placed then I can go outside of my apartment and come back in and it will still be there so let's go out and um, we'll come back in and we'll see if it's still floating if it's not then we know it's not high enough and you have to float it higher and there's a spreadsheet out there somewhere that you can get that tells you the minimum heights for all of these objects. Um, but oh, there it is. So the bed doesn't have to be terribly high. There it is. It's still, it, it'll stay there. It'll stay there until you grab it and move it. If you grab it and move it, um, and don't, you know, like right click out before you place it, um, then it will come down from there. Uh, and it's really that's it is as easy as that to um, to float things and you can float multiple items. Well, yeah, and some of it's trial and error. You need to be sure um, if you float something and it falls back down to the floor, even after being rotated and placed and, and floating there while you're here and then you like leave the area and come back in and it falls to the floor, that means that it was not high enough. You have to float it up higher than whatever it was that you floated it. Um, and like I said, there's a spreadsheet out there. There's a reference sheet out there somewhere that'll tell you like, you know, it has to be as high as like such and such cabinet or something. So you can actually like, you know, get whatever item it is and check to see if your thing is high enough before you walk out. And you can float multiple objects at once. Um, you know, it's possible to do that. So I'll kind of show you what I mean. So like, let's see, say we want to make a bedroom, um, you know, and we want to have a number of things in our bedroom. We want, let's say we want a ronk and rocking chair and a bed. And we want to float these up and we want them to be in a loft. Um, so we're just going to, you know, like put this there. We're going to put the ronk and rocking chair next to it. You know, place things on the floor the way you want it to look up in your loft. And um, let's see if I have a flooring mat. I do. And I'm going to place a flooring mat underneath them because I want that to be my ceiling. So there's all of that stuff. It's all on the flooring mat. Uh, I'm going to move this over just a little bit. And you can float multiple flooring mats up kind of, you know, to do stuff with too and it gets tricky but you know they make a nice ceiling for the whatever is below <laughs> so there's that and then you know let's say we want to put this glade bench at the bottom of the bed right 
So we'll have three items. They're all sitting on his flooring mat. And we're going to float all of these things up at once. We're just going to float this whole mess all together. Now, I recommend using a square, you know, the big um, loft for this because I think that these wooden lofts are bigger. Um, I think they're bigger than the round loft. Let's let's compare. Let's see how much of this round loft. Yeah, see, it doesn't go under all of the items. It might work. We'll try it. Let's try it. Turn off grid snap. I recommend turning off grid snap when you're placing your loft to do floating because otherwise it's a super huge pain in the butt. Oh, look. All of the items all went up. See? Just like that. All three items. So you can use the round wooden lofts from the vendor to do this. There's that. And we'll just place that loft again. And we'll just kind of do like right there. It's just like right below the edge of the um, of the flooring mat. And there we go. All three items popped up again. And then, the, you know, we'll do this a few more times. Just like so. Just place it. Make sure it's below the edge of the flooring mat, just like that. Kind of underneath each of the objects. So at least like one of the legs of that glade bench is covered by the bottom of the loft. And up they go. One more. Let's do it one more and then we'll rotate everything and then we'll walk out and we'll come back in and see if it stays. I've never floated a ronkin rocking chair, so I don't know what the minimum height for that object is. I know the flooring mat is kind of has kind of a high um, minimum height. These round lofts seem to work pretty well, actually. Um, I haven't had it glitch out on me at all. I'm going to do it one more time, just to be safe. We'll put it up one more, one more notch. There. So there's everything's up. Mm, one more. It's not high enough. We'll put it up one more and then um, and then we'll rotate, go out and come back in and see if everything's up. So there's that. <gasps> Oops, it didn't go. I didn't do it fast enough. You gotta be quick with your click. Quick click. There we go. And the most annoying part of this is that sometimes when you're doing this, um, one of your objects won't go. Like you'll have three objects that you're floating and only two will go and one of them will stay somewhere. And you have to like do that level again. But, um, you know, you kind of, you kind of, it, it takes practice. It just takes practice to do this stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate the bed. We'll rotate the bed. It's rotated at a full turn. Let's rotate this glade bench a full turn and click. We want to rotate the ronk and rocking chair just like that. And whoops. Yeah, no, that's fine. And we have to also rotate the flooring mat. So we got to rotate the flooring mat. A full turn, and you can you can rotate them again um, after the fact. But now let's turn off that, and it seems like they're all gonna stay. Let's go outside and come back in and see if they stay there. Yep, there they are. So they were high enough. I don't know if I can get up there. <laughs> I can't. I have to move something so that I can jump up there. Here, let's do this. Let's move this out of the way. Move that. And we'll just kind of, let's pull this over here so I can jump up. I have, 
I want to find more uses for this item for the verdant shelf partition because it's, you know, it's an easy way to get a lot of greenery that it is hard to get any other way. And one, and it's, you know, a lot of things in one item. Oh, oh no. Let me up. Ah. I keep hitting my head. There we go. So there's our little bedroom that we floated up. There it is. <laughs> Easy peasy. It's it's really not that hard once you get the hang of it. Um, you know, and I say I won't float stuff from basements. I would if I had a house that was worth doing it in. With a small house, it's just so hard. And you run out of item budget. Anyways, there, housing glitch lesson number one tonight, how to float objects with a loft. And you can use the loft from the vendor and the stage panel from the vendor. And you can buy a bed from the vendor and a bench from the vendor and some chairs and some other things, some cabinets and whatever. There's a lot of things on the vendor that you can buy and you can make yourself a cool apartment because these wooden flooring mats, you can also get those from the vendor. So the vendor challenge. The stakes are high because this is something you can do with items from the vendor. Anyways, I should probably call it a night because I need to go pack and make sure I have everything in order for my trip tomorrow. Um, and I'm only going to be gone tomorrow and Thursday. I'm coming home on Friday. So I'll be here for a stream on Friday evening and we will have some fun and yeah i hope that you all have a great night and thanks for watching <laughs> you're welcome monty and i'll see you i'll see you on friday <laughs>